In today's video, we're gonna learn how to upload multiple images from WIST to Xano. We're gonna start in Webflow by adding an HTML input. Then we're gonna move over to Xano to build our backend. And finally, we're gonna connect everything in WIST. All right, we're gonna start in Webflow here, and I'm gonna share a couple small tips here so that um, we don't have to use the embed anymore. As you know, Webflow launched the custom element, so we can just use that instead of um, writing HTML code inside of an embed. So here, I'm just gonna add the custom element and under settings, I'm gonna set the tag to input like so. Then under attributes, we're gonna write type file like so. And now we can already start adding images to this input. But the thing is, we also want to add some additional attributes to it as well. So first of all, we want to add the wizard attribute. I'll call it input files like that. And now you're gonna see what's going to happen if we try to use this. If I click here on choose file, I can already access my pictures. So here I can just start selecting images already. The only problem is I can select only one image. So we have to find a way to create an input that allows us to select multiple images. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go back to Webflow and we're gonna add an attribute of multiple here. Now, unfortunately we can't just leave an attribute empty because it's going to be set to an empty string. So we can just write here through like so. And now if we publish our project again, I can just refresh it here. You can see that I can select multiple images. Cool, and you can see here that we have two files. So that's the first step. Now, in our case, we want to allow users to upload just images. So we have to specify in an attribute which type of files can be uploaded. Okay, it was accept and then we just list the extensions. So we're just gonna write image any, like so. I'll copy this. All right. All right, and now if I just refresh this build, you can see that I can select only images. So I'll try to add a document somewhere and I can't because it says image files here. So I'll select two images and this works, perfect. Now we can head over to WISD and to Xano to set up the rest of the project. So first let's start building our backend in Xano. I already created a table here and I'm gonna call it reviews because the users usually when they are, when you're building a review wi widget, users usually publish multiple images. So this is a great um, mock-up for this. So in order to add multiple images, we have to add an image field here. So we're gonna go under storage, image metadata. We can write here images. And on the structure, we're gonna select list like that. And now in this field, we can add multiple images. So this is everything we need to do in our database. Next, we're gonna head over to the API endpoint and we have to do the following. So we have our add review endpoint over here. And here we have this images input. Now, unfortunately, we can't just upload images directly to that input, except if we're just 
adding URLs. So in our case, we are uploading files through a file input. So we don't really need this input on our API endpoint. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna hide this one and we're gonna add another input here and it's going to be a storage input. Under storage, we're gonna choose file resource, not image metadata, but file resource. And here under structure, we're gonna write list. Now here we can call this content, doesn't really matter. So this is going to be our input for the file, file input field that we just built. Now for every file that gets sent to our backend, we need to convert that file into an image. So the way to do that is as follows. We're gonna create a new variable here. I'm gonna call the variable images or maybe new images. So it's not exactly the same as this one over here. So you're not going to be so confused. All right, and here we're going to set this to an empty array. There we go. And we're gonna save it. Now we have to loop through each file that's being sent to our backend and add that to the newly created variable array. So we're gonna move this to the top over here. And we're gonna add a for loop. For each loop, there we go. Now we are going to loop through each file. So we have our content input over here and each item is going to be called, yeah, file or item, doesn't really matter. So let's say five items are being uploaded. We can now inside of that loop access each one of the files that's being uploaded. So inside of that, we have to add a function. The function is going to be create image metadata. And we are going to turn each file into image metadata. This is a function from Xano that converts the file as it gets sent in, I believe, as a blob and it converts it into a format that uh, Zano can use basically. Maybe some of you developers out there will cringe and think that my explanation is incorrect, but uh, that's a simplified explanation of it. All right, so here we're gonna select each file and we're gonna return each file as an image. So it's been converted to image metadata and we can call this return variable image just for it, so it's easy for us to reference it. Okay, and now what we have to do is inside of that loop, add each image to our new images array. So here we're gonna write add to array, add to beginning of array, sorry. We have to make sure that this is inside of our loop. And now what we're going to do is select our array, which is going to be the new images array. And we're going to add our image. Remember image is each file that's been converted by this function over here to an image. Okay. So if we have three items inside of that uh, input over here, then the first item is going to be added here to this array. The second item is going to be added here. And then the third item is gonna be added here. Perfect. And now all we have to do is add this array to our record over here. So here we have this images array over here and we're going to add our new images array to that database. There we go. And this should be all now. If I made a mistake, we're gonna get back to that later and we're gonna correct it. 
I'm going to publish my changes. Okay. And now let's head over to WIST and let's set up the logic that we need on the front end. So here I'm going to create first a new request. I'm going to call it create review. Under app, I'm going to select Xano file uploads. I already added my Xano app over here. Here I have the base URL. And there in the request, I just have to add the endpoint. So here I'm going to write return string. And I believe it was reviews. We can double check quickly. Yes, that's correct. Under method, we're going to select post because this needs to be a post request. Now, this endpoint is not protected for now, but in a real app, most likely this would be a protected endpoint and you would have to send an authorization token inside of the header here. We have a lot of authentication videos that show this step, so I'm going to skip that here. And in the body, we have to add all of these fields. So we have the name, the description, which I'm going to show you in a second. So we have the name field, the description, and we have this file uh, input over here. So name, we're going to select the name field in our form. So return this field over here. We're going to do the same thing for description. Return. Oh. OK. And now you'll notice that I forgot one step. I didn't add a name to our input field. So it's not showing up here. So here we're going to write content. And you can see here that our form has only two fields. So let's head back to Webflow and let's add a name to our form field. With the input selected, I'm going to add a new attribute here. And I'm going to call it name. And we can call it files. I think that's pretty descriptive. OK, let's publish our project. And let's refresh our WISD instance. OK, we'll refresh the attributes. And now we can see here that files showed up. So we're going to return that value. Return multi-file files. OK. Now, this is very simple. And now we're going to submit it. And let's see what we get on our back end. So here, I'm just going to call. Let's close this so you can see the screen. I'm going to write Harry Potter, description, I'm a wizard. And now I'm going to upload two files. Now, of course, this is not going to work because we have to submit the form. So we have to set up an action that's going to take care of the form submission. So let's head over to actions. Let's create a new action. And let's call it handle form submit, like so. I'll use title case. Nice. Perfect. Now we're going to select our form element. And under settings, we're going to choose on event, submit, prevent default, and we don't have to reset the form for now. We can do that later. Now we're going to choose perform request, create review, and that's it. And now we can try to submit this and see what happens. So let's look at our create review request. And if we submit these two files, we're going to see that only one image is being submitted. But we uploaded two images. 
Now, why is this happening? Let's let's jump over to Xano and let's see what we get on the backend. I'm gonna open here the request history panel. And we can see here that we have our last request. And it was a successful one. So we can see that in the inputs, we are having only one image. So the image, the second image, didn't even get to Xano. Now, this is happening because Xano is based on PHP. And when we want to send multiple files to a PHP server, we need to add square brackets here to the input in on our front end. This is something that's PHP specific or Laravel specific, I'm not sure. But uh, in order for Xano to see that we're sending an array of images, we have to add that. So before we do that, let's look at our payload. We can preview our project. Again, I'm gonna select the same two images. And let's open the networks tab. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit, like so. And you can see here when I submit this, if we look at the payload, we have two keys called content. Now what we have to do is head over to WIST and in our request, we have to modify this key. All we have to do is add square brackets here. And now we can try again. We can submit our request. And if we look at the response, we can see that Xano registered basically both of our images. And this would work with as many images as we want. We could add even five images here now. Same thing, if we submit it, it's gonna work. And that's pretty much it. You can see now if we go to Xano, if we look at our database, we will always submit it the same message basically, but you can see that all of our images here are showing up. That's been multi-image uploads with WIST, Webflow, and Xano. If you guys have any questions, just write them below. And if you like this type of content, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.